Well, today is Thanksgiving Day, November 27, 2014. The garden is in much different shape now. We've had a frost. It's uh, killed off all the dahlias. The tomatoes are a mess. They're mostly, of course, they're all done. I have yet to clean them up. But I thought I'd uh, show the late autumn look at my garden. So here we go. Where once my beautiful dahlias stood, now nothing but the memory and the rebar that held them up so beautifully. It's a gray, cool, damp day today, Thanksgiving. My blackberries are kind of nestling down, losing leaves, just laying around for the winter. Got to uh, take all the grapes away. Grass is brown, not much sun. Life is resting now. Very little color left. A few colors of yarrow. Survivors of the latest frost. The last colors. So let's look at the garden. The angel of the garden is covered in leaves. The asparagus, done. The tomatoes, so many 25, 30, five gallon buckets of tomatoes frozen as juice for our yearly use till we get our tomatoes back in July. Put to take these down. Put the vines away on the compost pile. Here's the compost pile where all my dahlias lie. Cemetery of their branches and stalks. Starting to collect some leaves to mulch with in the spring. My prickly pear are starting to sag. As they get cold and the freezing weather comes, they'll just go flat, flat out and then pop back up in the spring. I hope this year, this spring, this May, I hope to have some flowers on them for October fruit and harvest for the prickly pear jam and juices that I that we so enjoy and that will be part perhaps of some Christmas gifts. Here's the what was once my watermelon patch all done. A resting time. I still have food in the garden though. A, a, a fall garden into winter. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Here in this plot grew my sweet potatoes and I got 110 pounds of sweet potatoes out of this one patch. We have them stored in boxes and dark uh, closet and we'll be eating them. Really, we they last a year but are best till spring. Here was a, I'm, you know, I'm very excited about all the things that grow in my garden and the successful harvests of them. This is turnips. Behind that, carrots. The turnips have done <laughs> really well. Look at this. Turnips. I got lots of turnips. And we enjoy them. And we can keep them in the ground for a while turnips. 
Let's take a look at the carrots. I've never had a really good uh, successful carrot crop. Never tried. Look at that. Doggone it. That's a carrot. And I got this whole patch is full of, I got, I don't know, maybe 100 carrots in here. Pretty cool, huh? I'm excited, but then I'm a simple man. This is collards. And they're doing quite well. They actually do last through the winter, even with the cold. The cold doesn't knock them down. We eat greens all, all winter long. We can see the cabbage. Look at that. November 27. That's a beautiful head of cabbage, I'm telling you. The broccoli is done. We're having broccoli for Thanksgiving. Look at the cabbages that I have to eat and enjoy and put away. Cabbage in the refrigerator lasts a very long time, months. For dinner ton tonight with the family, we'll have uh, carrots and sweet potatoes and broccoli from the garden with the turkey and all the fixings. My raspberry patch, which I still think I'm going to dig up and do something else here. And lettuce. The lettuce is done, really. Although there's some green we could eat. I'm amazed that it has lasted. There are some leaves here, but it's, of course, as it bolts here, it's, it's pretty bitter. Probably not going to harvest it. All the activity from March till now, November 27. Still food, still things that bring me out here to enjoy and watch, and wonder about. It's my little Thanksgiving story, end of garden time. I hope you're Holidays are great, and thanks for joining me in the garden. Bye.